Oh, you're fun to watch, man. Appreciate All right, what's going to be better, like signing a new contract or not having to answer questions about Ooh. getting a new contract? Which will actually be better? That's tough. Uh, <laughs> probably signing a contract. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. Well, let's be honest. How many zeros will I have in my account? That is better than answering the question or not answering the question. Yeah. Dak Prescott, Cowboys quarterback, on the brink of free agency before he can get to free agency. The Cowboys have a weapon in the arsenal known as the franchise tag. A report from ESPN over the weekend suggested that it's inevitable that Dak will be tagged, which I think is craziness if it comes to it. It isn't that difficult at this point to figure out what it would take to sign Dak. Based on the non-exclusive franchise tag, which will be in the range of $27 million per year, that's your starting point. $27 million with a 20% bump for next year, and you work it forward from there. Under the exclusive tag, which would take him off the market entirely, no one can try to sign him and give up two first-round picks as compensation. The exclusive tag is going to cost, based on current calculations for 2020, $33.4 million. That is a hell of a starting point. When you consider that Russell Wilson's contract paid him $31.4 million at signing per year, at signing, a deal premised on $33.4 as a starting point at signing would blow the lid off the market. But Chris... That's the problem if they apply the franchise tag. It's no longer about, I've seen people arguing, he's not worth 30 million. He's not worth this. It doesn't matter at this point. Once you tag the guy, he's worth what the tag is. It's like Kirk Cousins in Washington was only 20 million the first year and 24 million the second year. If you tag the guy, it changes everything. And if you tag the guy, Chris, I can tell you this, he ain't showing up yeah. until you sign him to a long-term deal or until week one, Maybe he stays away the whole offseason, preseason, and training camp uh, and and gets that full $33.4 million rolling through the door a week before the season well, starts. Well, yeah. I mean, come on. They, they got to pay him. I mean, they got to do it. They got, You know, yeah, okay, maybe they franchise him or exclusive tag him right, right at first, right, just to make sure there's no, you know, market and conversation that way. But he, I mean, he has incredible leverage here. He really does. First off, he's the quarterback. I mean, he's the franchise quarterback. He's proven it. You know, Mike, I've been around him for the last two Super Bowls now. I mean, I get it. You know, he's got a great way about him. I mean, he really does. You could see that he leadership, being able to command a room, charismatic, all of those things are real, let alone he's built like a Greek god and he's really damn good at football. So there's not, you know, again, the grass isn't always greener. Dak Prescott is one of the 10 best quarterbacks in football. So they're going to have to find a way to get it done. And especially with Mike McCarthy coming into town and Jerry Jones, as we talk about, he's getting old. He's not getting any younger. And if he wants to maximize his, his years left on the planet to maybe win a Super Bowl, hey, Yes, get the job, get the deal done with Dak Prescott uh, because he is your guy. Now the problem is, Mike is like, where do they pay him? You know, to, that that's that's you keep it's bringing driven that by up. the tag though. I that's know. the thing. Once right. you tag him, that's the formula because the tag, especially the exclusive tag, the formula on which that would be based is higher than the current market. So yeah, if they're going to tag him at thirty three point four million, if it stays there because it's an average of the five top quarterback cap numbers. For 2020, and it'll change as guys do new deals or restructure their contracts. But 33.4 million as the starting point, that's fine with me. And here's the other thing, too, Chris. If he decides to go year to year, right? And and, and let, let me say this: the fact that there's a report that the franchise tag looks inevitable suggests to me that the Cowboys don't believe he'll go year to year. Because once you start down that path, you you the numbers go haywire, especially in year three. And they may be looking at only two more years with Dak Prescott if he truly does go year to year. Well, uh, yeah, I, I, I would hope he doesn't go year to year. And, yeah, I, I mean, I understand the Cowboys. Why not, though? Why not? Why not? Get paid. Let me say this. Yeah. Let me say this. I heard stories about the Jerry Jones yacht, the $250 million floating palace. Right. I've heard. I, we don't have enough time for me to share. But let, let me just say this. Yeah. From what I've heard, it is as obscenely opulent right. as you would expect it to be. Right. And when I heard those stories, my reaction was, Dak, get paid. Get everything. Yeah, I, I know that. there's a salary cap. Get everything because this guy can afford to write the check. Yeah, he definitely can. I mean, yeah, you, you know, what do they always say? Uh, you know, every Everything's big in Texas, and Jerry always does it big, whether it's the stadium, his, you know, I'm sure, you know, his boats, whatever it is. Uh, but 
But like th- this is to me is inevitable and they just got to figure it out as far as getting it done as far as a long term contract. I mean, too, you know, what is the issue for you? Like, you know, as far as what he's going to be paid? I know you said it's, a, it's, it's of course, the franchise tag deal and the exclusive tag deal that drives it. But if you're Dak Prescott, you know, what is the number that makes you happy on a yearly basis? And do you, are you counting new money, average salary? I, I no, but there's it, no new money. It's no new money. He has no contract. It's done left, right? It's only new money if you're in the last year of your deal. They blew their chance. No, but I'm saying it. comparing it to the other players and that too. I, you know, or, I, to me, here's it's very yeah. simple at this point. And he has shown that he's a businessman because he hasn't accepted the offers they put on the table. Yeah. Thirty-three point four million this year. You multiply that by one point two, a twenty percent raise. It's forty million for 2021. And if they would tag him again, Chris, the price tag for 2022 for one year, fifty-seven. Point seven Jeez. million. Right. My point is, once you pull the pin on the franchise tag grenade, those are the kinds of of numbers you're getting yourself right. into, and it becomes very easy at that point to do a deal. The question is, will the Cowboys do it or just let him go year to year? Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.